The babies that just hatched out finally shed and took their first meal and guys, they are beautiful. Check it out. This is from the GHI Arroyo Fire male to an Enchi spider female. And we got so lucky that we hit five males. I can't believe it. This is the best thing ever. Oh yeah, and welcome back to RMV Reptiles. So we're gonna try to figure out what we got here, guys. Um, this is like probably, I would imagine this is world's first pairing. If anybody has made something like this before, they haven't told us yet. And there's only a small handful of people in the project. So we're gonna try to figure out what these guys are. And uh, they just ate yesterday their first meal, so I don't wanna jostle them around too much. This is obviously a spider. I would say it's Enchi. Um, probably fire too, right? I think it's fire. I think it's fire. Is it GHI? Arroyo? Man. Because we look at the variability here. Both of these got to have Enchi, but look at the difference in the tone and the banding and the blushing inside of it. I don't know, maybe it's just variability. And then you got this one, which is way darker. Is it, this has gotta be GHI, right? I'm not really familiar with spider GHI combos. I knew that. Um, yeah, so we're getting somewhere with this ID, that's for sure. Well, what are the other two? What do you think, Ben? We got super lucky with this normal male here. Mm-hmm. The odds of that were pretty slim. This classic, classic male. They're actually, finding a normal ball python these days is kind of difficult. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of people ask for them for pets. And just not a lot of them get produced because we got so many genes going on. This one's for sure a GHI Royo. Yep. And it's beautiful. We produced several of these over the years, so we know. And you can tell by a handful of reasons. Do you want to point them out? <laughs> oh, you definitely see the thumbprints coming up the side. See the thumbprints coming up? Mm hmm. You have a bright. <laughs> You have a brighter dorsal. This guy's escaping. Um, the actual pattern of the GHI bands over the top and gets all squirrely, like curlicued, which is one thing that we see. The tone is a little darker, in my opinion, than mm -hmm. a regular GHI. That neck pattern right from behind the head is super telling for me. I look at that and I say for sure. Super telling. In my opinion. So yeah, these spider combos are tough. Comment down below what you guys think. Maybe, we haven't produced that many spiders, period. Mm -mm. Like it's not something that we shoot to make a lot of. So seeing a spider combo that we've never seen before with weird genes. Wow, why are these guys like super active? So yeah, comment down below guys. Let us know what you think. Arm beers, let me go through a couple of things that we have for sale. I know people have been asking and uh, we'll show you real quick. So one thing that a lot of people have been asking about lately is these blue tongue skinks. This is one of our holdbacks. You can see how pretty they are. This is a Northern blue tongue skink. Beautiful, beautiful animal. And uh, we have a couple holdbacks that we are probably gonna let go of a couple we're not sure um, but feel free to reach out to us people have been asking and we've been getting talked out of a couple so we uh, got talked out of a couple Easterns and a couple Northerns so far but this one's so pretty man this one's super clean ah this one's so good then we have stuff like this for sale this is a pastel male but it's pos het Lavender albino clown pied. Posset lavender albino clown pied. Um, it has the clean look uh, that clowns get, kind of the, the het clown stuff, but hard to say um, because we would call it a posset. 
So, the uh, het influence for Pied and for uh, Lavender Albino could be messing up a whole bunch of things. So, it's a really, really pretty looking and clean looking pastel. But, also for sale on our Morph Market. Very well started. Very well started. We also have this boy. This is a pastel spot nose. 66% Het Clown, 50% Het Pied, 50% Het Lavender Albino. And he has a crazy pattern. The spot nose here, you can see whoop, the head stamp as I push his head out there. Crazy looking head stamp, beautiful animal. There's a ton of stuff you can make with this. Uh, but very well started. Probably a good 350 grams. That's breeder size for some people. Not not uh, calling out Matt Cleaver at all, but meh. Haven't mentioned his name in a while. We have this really well started female. 50% Het Lavender Albino, 100% Het Pied. So 100% Het Pied female. That's also 50% Het Lavender Albino. The pairing was a Pied possible lavender albino to a 100% het lavender albino. So we didn't prove out the male in that one, but we know it's 100% het lavender albino. So this girl is for sale. We have a few girls for sale. Definitely getting big. This one is a male as well. We have a handful of males for sale right now. Just happens to be luck of the draw. We also have more females, but this is a super fly hidden gene Woma 100% Het Clown. Super fly, so it's super pastel fire hidden gene Woma 100% Het Clown. Look at the erased pattern along the dorsal, especially around the head. It's crazy. People just don't understand Hidden G Moma, I think, and uh, they hear Woma and they think that there's a head wobble or something, but Hidden G Moma is not the same. Hidden G Moma is a totally different gene Kevin McCurley came up with and he named. Um, I don't know why he called it that, but uh, maybe I'll have to ask him one day. But these are awesome animals. They, the Hidden G Moma mixes up the pattern a ton and um, it's just beautiful, beautiful snakes. So we love them. We have a lot of Hidden G Moma in our collection. And uh, I think it's something that you guys should probably get into if you're not already. So we'll take a look at one more we have for sale. And then you guys are going to have to go and check out our Morph Market. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Give us a little subscribe. Show us that you care. And uh, make sure you're watching R&B Reptiles Shorts. Got to go check out that channel. <coughs> The last one I'm going to show you guys is this female here. If you can believe that we still have her for sale, this is a pastel GHI 100% Het Clown. So as you guys know, GHI clowns are pretty hot. Um, definitely building blocks for a beautiful, beautiful future. And um, I don't know, man, the, the pastel GHI in this looks awesome. The clown, the Het Clown uh, influence really cleans things up. You can see the uh, GHI influence in the edges here, but also this crazy hooking. So you see this hooking here, the dark outlines, and then the pastel really brightens up here in between the pattern. It's a beautiful snake, and she's very well started. I bet she's 300 grams, maybe a little bit more even. So we're not really like uh, upset if she doesn't sell, but I mean, she can make a ton of money on her clutches if it was all about money. It's not, but money does play a big piece into uh, what animals you pick because the cost can be uh, an issue or also what the potential of the income would be to help make your passion and your whole business move forward. Um, this girl would do really well on her first clutch, especially paired to a clown of sorts. So very beautiful so make sure you guys check us out on morph market i'll put a link in the description below but also i'll shoot a little card up here somewhere or something like that so so this girl has just hit like 1400 grams and we're thinking about what we're going to pair her with she is a yellow belly lace and she's gorgeous she's in shed 
you can see how the yellow belly and lace work really well together and we're trying to figure out what we're going to pair it with i mean the obvious thing you'd be like oh i'll put a clown mail or something to her but like i don't know we've got a bunch of different little projects going on here so what do you guys think comment down below and let us know what we should pair with this yellow belly lace female and with that guys i want to thank you for watching please check out these videos over here here and here hurt pals rock rb reptile shorts what else do we got open <laughs> what else are we linking TikTok, <laughs> US Arc, US Arc, all that jazz. See you on the next video, guys.